Hi everybody, Shelly here with Shelly Can Help. I am a certified nutrition chef who my whole mission is to help introduce healthy foods into your kitchen without all the science jargon, without all the counting. I just want to help you get healthy through the foods that you eat every day. I believe that being healthy starts in our kitchen and I believe our immune system starts in our kitchen. So therefore, I want to do everything I can to get you in your own kitchen, make it simple, and make it delicious. Healthy food doesn't have to be boring, it doesn't have to be time consuming, and it definitely doesn't have to be expensive. Tonight, I am going to make a fun little recipe. Um, if I can figure out how to work this cooktop. There we go. If this is your first time watching me, this cooktop is fairly new and we don't always get along but we're gonna get along tonight, I'm feeling it. So we're gonna let that heat up. I have some extra virgin olive oil in there. <clears throat> you can use uh, avocado oil too. We're gonna to make a charred kale salad tonight with a tahini dressing. And what I love about these salads, it can be a side or it can be a meal. But what I love about these is you can make it your own. You can put your own vegetables in it. You can put your own nuts and seeds in it that you like for your taste buds. I encourage everyone to take my recipes and make it your own so that you love it and you love the taste of it. And do me a favor, if you try any of my recipes, post it on my page, post it in my group. I wanna see you making the food with your own renditions is totally fine with me, as long as you read the labels on the ingredients. We are gonna make the dressing first while this oil heats up. And uh, what I did was I have my food processor out and I put in half, mm, about half a cup of tahini. So tahini looks like it, well, I bought mine at Whole Foods. Looks like, is there a glare? Sorry. Looks like that, there we go. And tahini is just made of sesame seeds. So it's like peanut butter without peanuts, it's sesame seeds. So if you have a nut allergy or someone in your family has a nut allergy, tahini is a great alternative. But tahini is my favorite for dressings and sauces. I'm on a tahini kick, so you're gonna see me cook with it a lot. I love it, it is packed with nutrients. Um, so we have about, between a fourth a cup and half a cup of tahini in the food processor. Next up, we're gonna add some lime juice. We're gonna do two to four tablespoons of lime juice. I always, with my dressings, I don't measure a lot. I use my pinky and I taste as I go. So I'm gonna start out with like two and a half to three tablespoons and we'll see that where that gets us. Next up, extra virgin olive oil. We are going to do one, uh, a, little, a little less than fourth a cup. So I'm doubling this recipe because I like my dressings left over. I like to put them as marinades. I like to make them as a dip. So with this, with this recipe, it calls for, for, for two servings, it calls for two tablespoons of lime juice, two tablespoons of, uh, Tahini, I put too much tahini in it. I would told y'all totally wrong. I'm using four tablespoons of tahini because I'm doubling the recipe, not a quarter cup, four tablespoons, my bad. It's been a long day y'all. Okay, so I'm using four tablespoons of tahini. I'm using a little less than fourth a cup of extra virgin olive oil. You wanna buy your oils in dark glass containers because oils are light and heat sensitive. They lose their value, they lose their nutrients, and they lose their flavor if they're exposed to a lot of light and heat. So store them, or keep, buy them in a dark glass container and store them in a cool place like your pantry that doesn't get sunlight. Okay, now we have, uh, now we're gonna do cilantro. So the servings for two calls for half a cup of roughly chopped cilantro, but I'm doubling this, so I did almost about a cup of cilantro. Cilantro is, uh, I've told you before, but if this is your first time watching, cilantro helps remove heavy metals from your body. Most of the foods that I use, well, 99% of them serve a purpose, a health purpose. But I'm not gonna get all sciencey on you and give you count, I'm not gonna count calories, I'm not gonna count carbs. I'm just gonna use real whole ingredients that are gonna feed my body nutrients and you know what? All that other stuff takes care of itself. You don't need to count calories when you eat real whole foods like we're doing today. The next thing is salt. Again, the recipe calls for about a fourth of a teaspoon. I, like, I'm going to use my, my finger and taste it and kind of go from there. But I started off with about a half a teaspoon. 
And I already put in the lime juice. Oh, I need to add a little bit of water just to kind of uh, make it mix easier. What did I do with the water? Oh, here it is. A couple of tablespoons of water. All right, let's start with that and see how it goes. My oil is getting hot. Let's go ahead and blend this, shall we? While I'm doing this, somebody put in the comments like what you're making for dinner tonight. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. I can see all the cilantro bits just flying around in that food processor, I love it. Real whole foods, real whole ingredients. People ask me a lot, like, Shelly, are you worried about adding salt to dishes? And this is what I say. I'm going to taste it. Oh, man, that's good. It needs a little water. It's a little thick. This is what I tell them. When you're making your stuff from scratch, you're starting with zero salt, right? When you buy overly processed foods that already have salt in them, like frozen dinners and things like that, you don't want to add salt on top of it because it already has salt. But when you're starting from scratch, the little bit of salt that you add in an entire doubled recipe of dressing is going to be okay because you're not starting with salt. So add your salt, honey. Just make sure it's sea salt. We don't want to be putting that white um, table salt in our food. It's overly processed and it's not good for us. Okay. <laughs> You know what? I kind of forgot about my oil. Oh yeah, it's ready. Okay, while this is while I'm checking on this dressing, I'm gonna go ahead and put my kale in the oil. I'm gonna do it like in two batches. I'm doing four cups of kale because I'm only doing enough to serve me and my husband. So four cups of kale is gonna be enough for two salads. I'm gonna use the extra dressing on another recipe on another day. That's another, and you're supposed to leave it alone for like one minute. So I need to, it's 6.36, I need to look at the clock. All right. This dressing smells delicious. Again, wish you had smell-o-vision. Sorry for your bad luck. Write down the recipe, because you're going to want to make this. And I'm going to add a little bit more water one more time. There we go. I'm excited about this one. I love anything that has cilantro. Okay, I'm going to flip the kale. I wanted that cilantro to get as small as possible. And I think I have mission accomplished. I can't wait to show you all this dressing. I had to get all of it out of that lid. If you do not have a food processor and you cook at least one day a week, I recommend getting one. They're worth it. They make life so much easier in the kitchen. They're not hard to clean up. I never used mine before I went to culinary school because I didn't want to clean it up. Y'all, it has three parts. It's not a big deal get a food processor. It makes making your own sauces and dips and doughs and things like that so much easier. I use this thing probably, I chop nuts in it on the regular. Like I make my own almond flour. I just take almonds and put them in there and grind them up. And in 30 seconds, I have almond flour. Yeah. Get you a food processor. I, this is a Cuisinart. It is, I've had this thing for probably seven or eight years. I've used it so much. I busted the lid. <laughs> So I'll have to get a new one eventually. But for now, it works. All right. Ooh, I smell that kale charring. We're going to flip it again. The secret to this is really letting it sit. Letting it sit still so it can char. I put a little too much oil in it, but that's okay. I think you can see how yeah, you can see it. Hear it popping. So while this is charring, I want to tell you that I have decided I'm announcing... I'm very excited. 
So I had an epiphany today and I've been wanting to launch something new and I didn't know what I wanted it to be. And after much thinking and reflecting and sitting still and listening, I have decided to do an online recipe group event in October. It's gonna be four weeks long. I'm gonna get in the kitchen. You got, you're gonna be given a plethora of recipes and a meal plan that are balanced nutritionally every day for a month. We're only gonna do Monday through Friday. It's gonna be incredible. I don't wanna tell you too much, but be on the lookout and watch all of my posts and stay tuned because it's gonna be awesome. And if you want to know all the details about it, just go to shellycanhelp.com forward slash makeover. Shellycanhelp.com forward slash makeover and just put your little name and email in there and then every whenever I get all the details, you'll get an email. I'm not gonna bombard you with it or anything, but you will get an email when I when I send that. I can't wait, I'm so excited, I officially announced it. Okay, this group of kale is about done. So I'm gonna put it in, go ahead and put it in an individual bowl and let it cool. You can have a warmed kale salad, there is nothing wrong with that. I, I, I have a recipe actually that I've made on here that I stole from Valerie Bertinelli. It's a charred kale Caesar salad, and it's to die for. I'm not gonna add any more oil. I'm just gonna let them, I'm actually gonna mix these up. I'm gonna put some of this overly oiled kale in here. There we go. Oh, and it's browning. Love it, y'all. Okay, while this kale is charring, I'm gonna tell you what I'm putting in it. I am going to top it with quinoa. I wanna add protein. And then I'm gonna to top it with pepitas, which is a Texas word for pumpkin seeds. I put them in the oven on 375 with a little cooking spray, healthy cooking spray, avocado oil cooking spray, not Pam. And a little bit of salt, put it in the oven on 375 for about eight, nine minutes. And I have these beautiful roasted pepitas. The problem is when you buy uh, nuts and seeds that are already roasted and salted, Typically, they're using refined, nasty oils to do so. Canola oil, vegetable oil. See that smoke? That's what we want, y'all. Um, canola oil, vegetable oil, and you don't want that. So buy your nuts raw. Take once a week, put a whole batch in the oven, and be done with it for like a month. That's what I do. So anyway, that's pepitas. And then I'm tonight, because it was in my fridge, I'm going to put green apple. You can do any fruit you want or no fruit at all if you want, but um, green apple would be good and orange would be really good. Uh, strawberries would be good. And then I'm gonna put quinoa, I told you that, for the protein. Quinoa is uh, not uh, a grain, so it's gluten-free. If there's any gluten people out there, gluten sensitive. Even if you're not gluten sensitive, I do recommend watching your gluten and very limited use of gluten because it is an inflammatory food. So I don't have a gluten um, intolerance, but I have a sensitivity to it. So we don't eat gluten a whole lot, but I do like whole grains. Um, just get good whole grains when you do, but don't eat them every day because they really are tough on your stomach and they cause major inflammation. So that's the reason for quinoa tonight. And then I'm gonna squeeze it with a little lime because I had a lime left over from a corporate cooking class today. And the last thing I'm gonna add is black and white sesame seeds to go with the tahini. Now, the difference, you want to know the difference between black and white sesame seeds? Are you ready? <coughs> I bet you didn't know this. I just inhaled the, <coughs> the charred smoke, sorry. Black sesame seeds still have the hole on them. White sesame seeds have been stripped from the hole. So black sesame seeds usually have just a tiny, tiny, slight more nuttier flavor, but for the most part, you really can't tell the difference. And the nutrients are almost identical, but that's the difference. Makes your food really pretty, so get both. That's what I do. All right, this kale is charred. I am stoked and I cannot wait to show you all this bowl of beauty. Ha! Bowl of beauty. I should have done more kale. Okay, I'm gonna recommend right now to do five or six cups of kale for two people. Oh, there we go. Okay, turn the, the most important thing is not to burn myself. All right. Here we go. This is gonna be fun. I love this part, I love assembling. All right, my kale is cold. Kale is actually better left over, so I make like two cups a week and I'll put it in salads, I'll put them in a wrap, I'll put it um, under chicken. I'll do a, like a quinoa crusted uh, salmon 
with like almond flour. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So we're gonna, uh, my quinoa is leftover. I made it on Sunday and it's better leftover. It's, it gets a little drier so it's not sticky. So I recommend making your, your kale, I mean your quinoa ahead of time. So we're gonna sprinkle the salad with quinoa. I am also making with this salad, my salad's gonna be a side tonight. Uh, but what I'm making with my salad is I made a new dressing today for a video I'm doing. I'm going to release it in a few weeks. But I did like a mango dressing like with a kick, so it's kind of spicy. And I marinated some wild-caught cod in my mango dressing. So it's been marinating, marinating in the fridge for about two hours, and I'm about to take it out and put it in the oven. And we're going to have that next to this kale salad. Y'all, mind blowing. Do you have food envy? I want you to have food envy. Just kidding. I'm really not kidding. Okay, so we put the pepitas in there. Little protein. Kale, we didn't even talk about the kale. Kale is a cruciferous vegetable. So it's loaded with fiber. It also, kale is one of the most nutrients, nutrient dense foods we can eat because it has a ton of vitamins. But the number one vitamin in kale is vitamin C. What does vitamin C do, y'all? It boosts our immune system. Who needs to have their immune system boosted right now while there's this stupid thing going around? Um, all of us. So, kale is a great way to get that. Now, my apples are already cut and they're sitting in some, bub they're sitting in the brand, you know, the sparkling water bubbly, the lime flavor. They say to put it in 7-Up, but you can totally, I didn't want the all that sugar, so I just put it in lime flavored bubbly and it keeps the apple from turning brown and it works okay top it with some apple next up sesame seeds oh no I want to wait I want to do that last because I want to do the dressing next all right let's get the dressing out of this ugly food processor thank y'all for watching by the way will you post a comment and just say if you're going to try this recipe or you don't like tahini at all and you've never you know or you've never had it and you want to try it or just say anything have you ever thought of putting tahini with cilantro that's a new one for me but i love cilantro and i'm sorry for you people that have the enzyme where it tastes like soap that's just a sad sad day for you i'm so sorry so you can leave the cilantro out if you don't like cilantro you can add parsley totally because it also helps remove heavy metals from the body as well now we're going to drizzle. I'm doing the drizzle effect. Are you ready? Here we go. Drizzle. Drizzle. Look at that. Okay. It wasn't pretty. I'm just not a neat chef at all. That's okay. It doesn't have to be neat. It just has to taste good. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to waste any. Okay. That's two salads. And look how much dressing I have left over. I have one cup left. I'll probably freeze half a cup. Now we're going to do the sesame seeds because they're so pretty. I toasted them. Just put them in a pan on low heat and don't add anything. Just let them sit there toasty roasty for like five or six minutes. Stir them around a couple of times and they are toasted sesame seeds. Talk about easy. Oh, I just want to keep adding them because it's so pretty. It's like spotting them. Okay, look. How pretty is that? All right, that is a charred kale salad with tahini dressing. If you like my videos, if you like the learning new recipes, post a comment. Feel free to share my videos. The more people I can help eat healthier one meal at a time, the better for me, right? All right, I'm going to go for now. Have an awesome rest of your week. Thank you for watching and head to ShellyCanHelp.com forward slash makeover in order to receive the updates on my upcoming uh, online event in, in the whole month of October. Before the holidays get started, let's eat some healthy food together. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks so much. One question before I go, what's on your fork? Bye for now.